you and see things wrong. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Gorbash and uh, welcome to the Nice of the Tomb Raider uh, Baba Yaga DLC. I uh, like the DLC, I like the idea of it. It comes from uh, like Russian, uh, Polish, Eastern legends. So, uh, this is something that uh, I can appreciate. Well right. Let's go through. Um, our current mission is to find Nadia's. Uh, all right, uh, come on. Uh, Nadia's. Who it, who it is actually? Uh, Nadia's. Who's Nadia? Uh, Nadia's grandpa. Radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud yes, and clear. I can hear you. Yeah. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. Uh, yeah, like I said, I don't know who is Nadia because I didn't finish the main game yet. Uh, but I thought it's a good idea actually to. Well, I should be able to light fire here if I had some woods. Huh? Like that. What more can you tell me about the wicked Bale, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He yeah, was in the gulag when the Soviets... I guess my moment coordination <laughs> is poor. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that should be the. I was close. Okay. okay. Let's climb up. Climb up. Now. By the way, look at the. Well, have you seen the waterfall? Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, the, the whole DLC looks amazing. This is the reason uh, why I like it, why, why I enjoy it. But in general, well, uh, I'm curious about the story. I have to say, I played one part of it already. So, Shit. I know what's going Daddy. on. Come on, Lara. Voice of God. Lara, hang on. I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Definitely happening out yeah, there. Yeah, that sounds like a witch. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. What the hell is that? It's walking. How? What the? Did you hear that? That was the witch. Yes, I 
Something's here definitely now. happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. Okay. Who's that? Is there any more sign from Grandpa? Are you still on the path to the Vale? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there. Where's that wooden path? Uh, okay, that's there. I want to see what's there first. Let me have a look. <laughs> Okay, this may be useful. Okay. This must have been a sensor to burn incense All in, right. but it's been modified. Full of water. <laughs> sensor to burn incense to spark incense. Look at that. So, what's that? Okay, and now what? <sighs> yes, I've been there. Nice. Lots of climbing here actually, so uh, going around I would imagine going back would be could be difficult. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Yes, I want to go inside the temple. Have a look. See, I found some treasure. That. Oh, something to dig out. Uh, I don't know what was that actually, but. Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, Scout. we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all. But most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains. No food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself. But the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music. And from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery to the strength of our faith. Okay. Hmm. This was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. Okay. Let's take a look. What's that? There. At least this counterweight still works. Okay. Might be able to find something here. Uh, I'm curious what's there. They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. 
They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home, just as it calls to me. Well, they saw. Okay. I should be able to connect that counterweight to the winch. Maybe I could swing it somehow. I should be able to connect that counterweight to the winch. Okay, there's something there in the let's take a look. obvious then still banging the the ice uh, I had to create draft first I guess that was the idea so Wow, looks amazing. All right, I think in this episode has uh, become pretty long anyway, so I'm going to finish this up and uh, see you next episode. Uh, thank you for watching once again, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. See ya.